More than 200 people remain displaced after their homes from their homes due to an early morning apartment fire in Florence. WFF 48's Daquan Lee joins us now live from downtown Florence in front of the Courtview Towers where that apartment fire took place. And Daquan, a lot of people are now without a place to sleep. So what's next for them? Well, Nolan, for the more than 200 people that have been displaced for that fire, there are several organizations and agencies stepping up to help them in their time of need. UNA and the Red Cross are both helping to provide shelter to people until they can get back inside the building. Now, the fire started just after 4 a.m. in the morning, and Florence fire officials tell us the cause of the fire is still under investigation. It started at the fourth floor of the apartment with two people being taken to the hospital as a result. It also forced firefighters to evacuate the entire building. Glenda Sue Parker is one of the residents who were evacuated. She stays on the eighth floor and says the apartment managers have been very accommodating in trying to help everyone find a place to stay. We're all sitting over here safe and they're trying, they've already provided food and drinks, sheltering for the animals and food for the animals. Now they're trying to help us a place to go. And the American Red Cross will continue to serve food to people today and tomorrow. And for UNA, they've opened up the main room music venue as temporary shelter for those in need. Reporting live in Florence, Daquan Lee, 48 on your side.